Yes, you can start. Achutam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Achutam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Kanukehata He Bhagavan Ate Nahi Kanukehata He Bhagavan Ate Nahi Tum Mera Ke Jai Se Bula Te Nahi Tum Mera Ke Jai Se Bula Te Nahi Achutam Ke Shavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Kanu Kehata He Bhagavan Kaate Nahi Kanu Kehata He Bhagavan Kaate Nahi Tum Bair Shabari Ke Jai Se Kila Te Nahi Bair Shabari Ke Jai Se Kila Te Nahi Achutam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Kaun Kehata Hai Bhagavan Sote Nahi Maya Shoda Ke Jai Se Sulati Nahi Kaun Kehata Hai Bhagavan Sote Nahi Maya Shoda Ke Jai Se Sulati Nahi Achutam Keshavam Krishna Damodaram Ramana Rayanam Janaki Ballavam Kaun Kehata Hai Bhagavan Naachte Nahi Gopiyom Ki Tara Tum Naachate Nahi Kaun Kehata Hai Bhagavan Naachte Nahi Gopiyom Ki Tara Tum Naachate Nahi Achutam Ki Shavam Krishna Damo Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Ramana Rayanam Janaki Vallabam Thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Bol. Say a big Hare Bol to Nandita. Hare Bol, Hare Bol. Hare Bol. Haribo, yes. Haribo. Thank you, Nandita. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you, Riyansh, for singing bhajans. So you should always try to sing bhajans. Okay, that will increase our bhakti. So try to recite Krishna bhajans. Hare Krishna. So now we can enter into the session. We we'll start with the Guru, Guru Pranam. Yes, are you able to see the screen? Yes, Mataji. Mataji. So, welcome kids to Bal Gopal classes again. So, let us start our session with Guru Pranam. Requesting kids to fold your hands, close your eyes and recite the Guru Pranam along with me. Om Agyana Kimirandasya Nyanan Janasalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Nama Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sunyavadi Pashatya Deshatarine Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shriva Sadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare 
हरे रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे 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 कृष्णा सो वेलकम किड्स सो लेट अस गोइंग टू द सेशन सो एस यू ऑल नो वी हैव कृष्ण जयंती कमिंग फ्राइडे वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग जन्माष्टमी बर्थडे ऑफ श्री कृष्णा सो हियर आर अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स व्हिच यू कैन टेक नो हाउ टू सेलिब्रेट Krishna Janmashtami at home. <clears throat> so the point is, bhakti depends upon love and devotion. No matter if we don't know the rituals, mantra, etc. So Krishna sees how much love you have for him. Even if you don't know how to do everything, you don't know how to recite a mantra. That doesn't matter. You can do simple prayer to Krishna. Celebration must be along with family. It will develop loving devotional atmosphere of temple. So you can. do the celebrations along with your brother sister father mother so along with family members you can do the puja devotional service so here are the few points this is for elders take off from office business wake up early in the morning 4 or 5 along with family perform mangala aarti chant the holy names of the lord how many of you are chanting mata ji Riyansh is chanting. Nandita is chanting. No, you have to chant at least from this Krishna Jayanti Janmashtami. You can start chanting. Yes, Anjali is also chanting. Anjali, how many rounds, Anjali? You are chanting. Mata ji, today I chanted four rounds. Oh, four rounds. That's good. Four rounds means hundred and eight times is one round. Yes, very good. So nice. See, at such an early age, she started chanting. You'll feel happy if you chant. I think Aditya is also chanting, right? Aditya, do you chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? Yes, Mata Ji. Yes. How many rounds? Um, two. Two. Okay. It's okay. Even if you can start with one or two rounds, Nandita, you can also start chanting. हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे दिस इज वन मंत्र लाइक दिस वी हैव टू चैंट ऑन द बीट्स हंड्रेड एंड एट टाइम्स इफ वी चैंट हंड्रेड एंड एट टाइम्स इट इज कॉल्ड वन माला सो वी कैन चैंट द राउंड्स लाइक दैट यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ टू राउंड्स देन यू कैन स्लोली इंक्रीज टू फोर राउंड्स प्रभुपाद हेज प्रिस्क्राइब सिक्सटीन राउंड्स मिनिमम पर डे इट विल टेक नियरली टू अवर्स मिनिमम so all parents who are in krishna consciousness they chant daily 16 rounds minimum okay so we can chant holy name of the lord whoever is not chanting you can start chanting from this janmashtami okay you will feel very nice chant holy name of the lord hari krishna maha mantra on beats some devotees chant 25 to 64 rounds so however possible you can chant perform abhishek to lord with water milk yogurt juice honey so you have parents they will help you we can perform abhishek if you have dt you can perform the abhishek decorate the altar temple with flowers so if you have temple nearby you can go to temple and you can celebrate there along with all the devotees and listen to janmashtami lectures krishna katha on youtube now we have technology has improved so even if you are not able to go outside sitting in your home also you can listen to krishna katha you should not watch other things on youtube it is only all the technology to be used only for developing our krishna consciousness cook nice bhoga for the lord and offer with tulsi leaf without onion and garlic so your parents will cook you can offer it to the lord when you offer bhoga you have to keep a tulsi leaf on it then only krishna will accept if you offer bhog with tulsi leaf you will be very happy bake a cake for the lord if possible so you can this is only if possible this is not compulsory you can do it if possible perform kirtan this is more important perform kirtan at home before midnight to welcome lord at what time did lord krishna birth take place 12 am yes night midnight 12 pm 12 am he took birth okay midnight so at that time you can sing bhajans to welcome the lord 12 midnight devotees can break fast by honori drinking charanamrita so those who can fast can fast yeah ekadesi we fast no similarly 
on janmashtami it is very good if we fast our develop we can develop our bhakti okay so we see a story now on how krishna took birth are you all ready yes mataji yes mataji so we will see a story called advent of lord krishna advent of krishna so i'll share hey krishna so i can see janita has also joined after a long time janita in your videos on disha has also joined welcome disha yes now we'll see the story Hare Krishna. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, Mata Ji. Hare Krishna. Yes, Mata Ji. Yes. So, what is the name of the story? The advent of Lord Krishna. What do you mean by advent? avatar yes you can say avatar or he comes advent is he comes birth, to the birth. Birth. birth yes birth you can also say it is birth okay so how krishna came to this earth anybody knows how krishna came to this earth okay we'll see how krishna came to this earth hari krishna are you krishna. ready Hare Krishna. Are you all ready? Shall we go into the story? Yes, yes, Mata Ji. Yes. So the advent of Lord Krishna. This is work, artwork done by Madhav Priya Mata Ji. She has done the drawings. Okay. See. Hare Krishna. Once about five thousand years ago. See about five thousand years ago, it happened that the earth was overburdened by too many demonic personalities having taken birth in the royal families of many kingdoms. They amassed huge armies and made powerful political alliances with one another. So five thousand years ago, many demonic people were on the earth. They were kings and. they took birth in royal family so they were all very rich what happened they started exploiting all the poor people see here the people are suffering these people they are trying to kill them they are exploiting so the they amassed huge armies and made powerful political alliances with one another so everybody people were suffering mother earth the presiding deity of the earth planet hari krishna kids are you listening Yes, Mata Ji. Yes, Mata Ji. Oh, Mata, I will be asking questions after this story is over. Okay, Mother Earth, the presiding deity of the Earth planet, felt distressed by the burden. See, where are these people living? They are living on the Earth. So we call her Mother Earth. Earth is not just a thing. She is a mother. She is a human being. She is a female. So Mother Earth, the presiding deity of the Earth planet. felt distressed by the burden she turned herself into the shape of a cow and went up to the planet of lord brahma see mother earth she took the form of cow 
and she is going up to the planet of Lord Brahma, the topmost of the demigods to ask for help. So you all know from Brahma only, everybody is generated. Brahma only created all the human beings. But Brahma came from Lord Vishnu, no? from his lotus, lotus uh, from the abdomen, Brahma came. You all know this story? Yes, yeah. who creates us? Who is the creating God? Brahma. Brahma. So from Brahma, everybody is created. So Mother Earth is going to Lord Brahma to tell her worries. The Vedic culture, which is the highest culture throughout the universe, values cow protection. So she felt confident that her chances of success in getting help would be enhanced by her having become a cow. So we all worship cow, no? Cow is also considered as one of the mothers. So she thought that if she goes in the form of a cow, Brahma will surely help. So she takes the form of cow and goes to Lord Brahma. She appeared before four-headed Lord Brahma with tears in her eyes, telling of her plight. See here, Brahma is seated and Mother Earth is going before Brahma with tears and telling of her plight. Brahma was very concerned. So she, he also felt very pity. She, he felt pity for Mother Earth. Brahma was very concerned, but he did not know exactly what to do. So he decided to appeal to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Brahma understood that Mother Earth was suffering. Why was Mother Earth suffering? Because there's a lot of... Wait, Krishna. Because of the burden. What burden? Asuras. Asuras, all demonic people. They were exploiting other people. So she was suffering. She went to Brahma to complain and Brahma didn't know what to do, though she felt pity. So he thought, I will make a appeal to Supreme Personality of Godhead. Who is Supreme Personality of Godhead? Krishna. Krishna. Who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead? Krishna. Not Krishna. So Brahma decides to go to Krishna. Krishna takes the form of Vishnu, calling all the demigods and demigoddesses so, Brahma didn't go alone. He's taking everybody. If we have any complaint in the school, what you do? You go. You don't go alone. You take two, three friends. Everybody goes and we speak together. So, similarly, calling all the demigods and demigoddesses to accompany him, Brahma went to the, went to the ocean to pray to the Supreme Lord. Because Supreme Lord is always lying on the causal ocean. In the highest part of the universe, there is an ocean of milk of a finer, more subtle quality that is almost spiritual. On this ocean of milk, the Supreme Lord Shirodakshayi Vishnu rests upon the serpent bed formed by Ananda Sesha. So what is this Vishnu called who is lying on the Kashal ocean? Shirodakshayi. Yes, you can repeat. This Lord is called Shirodakshayi. He is the expansion of Krishna. Shirodakshayi Vishnu. Shirodakshayi Vishnu is lying on which ocean? What is the ocean made up of? Milk. Milk. See, we have, there are so many oceans. Oceans made of milk, oceans of oil, of curd, of honey, of water. We have seen only ocean of water. But going higher beyond this universe, we have so many oceans of milk, of water, of uh, honey, of oil and all, we have ocean. But here... Oceans of universes. Yes, oceans of oceans and other universes also. So, here, Lord Shirodakshai Vishnu is lying on the ocean of milk. And he where, where in what bed he is lying? Bed formed by Anantasesha, the snake, no? He is a... This snake is also an incarnation of expansion of Vishnu. So this snake is called Anantasesha, this serpent bed formed by Anantasesha. So they are going there to complain. The demigods all chanted players, prayers glorifying the Lord. And then Brahma sat and silently meditated upon him. So Brahma is sitting silently and meditating. Then the Lord spoke to Brahma in his heart, telling him that he would come in his original form of Krishna and help planet Earth. So now. Vishnu sends a message to Brahma that he will come as Vishnu, his original form as Vishnu. He also said that the demigods should all take birth in the 
Yadu dynasty on earth in order to participate in his pastime. Brahma relayed this message to the demigods. Can anybody read this? Mataji, can I read? Yes, Mataji, yes. can I? Nandita, first you can read. One by one you can read. Yes. So Brahma in his heart telling him that he would come in his original form of Krishna and help planet Earth. He also said that the demigods should all take birth in the Yadudhyasna on Earth. In order to participate in his pastime, Brahma relayed this message to demigods. Okay, thank you, thank you, Nandita. So, Vishnu says, I will come as Krishna and all the demigods, demigods means Indra, Varuna, <laughs> All the other demigods, he is asking them to take birth in the Yadu dynasty. So, we have many cowherd friends, no? These are all demigods. So, he is giving instructions. Yes, uh, you can continue, Nandita. Next week. Mataji, can I read? Yes, Rian, she can read now. Now, back down on earth, it came to pass that Vasudeva and Devaki, who were to become the parents of Krishna, were ununited in marriage. There was a very great wedding procession after the ceremony when Vasudev set out for his home with his new bride, Devaki. Devaki's older brother, Kamsa, drove their chair. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Riyan. So, now Krishna wants to take birth on the earth. So, when he comes to earth, there should be a father and mother. Yes? Whoever is born, there should be a father and mother. Now, who is going to be Krishna's father and mother? Um, I forgot their name, but I know they were in um, jail. Yes? Louder, please. Vasudev. Vasudev and Devaki. Yes, Vasudev and Devaki. Yes, Saisha, you told it rightly. Vasudev and Devaki. So they are getting married. Here, Vishnu is telling to Brahma that he will come to the earth. Meanwhile, on planet earth, Vasudeva and Devaki are getting married. And who is brother of Devaki? Kamsa. Kamsa, Kamsa is the elder brother. Actually, Kamsa is very fond of Devaki, her sister. So he himself is driving the chariot of Devaki and Vasudev. The wedding takes place. Everything was peaceful and nice. See here, Kamsa is riding the chariot. This is Devaki. This is Vasudev. Everybody is happy. Everything was peaceful and nice until, until what happens? Suddenly a voice spoke from the sky for all to hear. So there is a voice from the sky. What does it say? Yes, uh, Dhruv, you can read this. Hare Krishna. Dhruv, are you there? Yes, anybody else can read? Mataji, can I read? Yes, uh, Saisha, you can read. Kamsa, you are a fool. You are driving your sister's chariot, not knowing that the eighth child of this marriage will kill you. Yes, thank you, Saisha. So, here there is a voice heard from the sky. It says, Kamsa, you are a fool. You are driving your sister's chariot, but the eighth child of this marriage will kill you. So this voice is heard from the heaven. So immediately what happens? Kamsa is demonic. So far he was very silent, but when he heard that their children, their eighth child will kill, he becomes very angry. Kamsa was one of the demonic personalities who had taken his birth in this particular family. He did not hesitate. He was ready to cut off his own little sister's head then and there in front of everyone just to save himself from a possible danger in the future. He grabbed her by the hair and drew his sword. See, you can see immediately she, he grabbed. So far he was very pleasing and he was silent. But now when he heard that their children, their child would kill him, he grabbed Devaki's hair and was ready to cut his head. But then what happens? Vasudev. He will. Vasudeva had no weapon with him. He tried to save his new bride, but he had only his wits to use. 
which means he was very intelligent vasudev was intelligent so he first tried to convince kamsa by good logic and philosophy so he wanted to safeguard his wife so he tried to he didn't have any weapon so he couldn't fight with kamsa with weapons but he had good intelligence so he began to speak with kamsa to stop him from killing devaki see first what he says vasudeva what he says yes riyan she can read this what say what uh, vasudeva say yes swata ji we are not this bodies and that the soul never dies yes see we have read in bhagavad gita no we are not these bodies and that the soul never dies which shloka is this we have a shloka in bhagavad gita dehi no sminyata dehi yes kaumaram yavanam jara tata dehanam tarakshatra na mukhyati so this soul never dies but the body only dies yes you can continue riyash next slide but what did kamsa but, say hmm. but kamsa did not care so the only thing left for was they were to do was to promise to hand over the babies as they were born he was thinking by then i will figure out something but at least devaki will be saved kamsa accepted this because he knew was there was always true to his word yes hari bol thank you riyansh so first he tried to explain that we are not this body we are soul philosophically but kamsa was not convinced so what vasudev said whatever baby is born i will hand over all the babies to you so he makes a promise to kamsa i will hand over all the babies as they are born so but with this kamsa is convinced because vasudeva always speaks the truth so kamsa feels he says that he will give all the babies to me so why should i kill my sister when the babies come i'll kill them one by one so thinking like that what happens when the first baby was born vasudeva true to his word so he doesn't kill his sister he lets them go so first baby is born when the first baby was born vasudeva true to his word but with heavy heart brought the baby to kamsa but kamsa was so pleased with vasudeva's honesty that he had a rare moment of compassion see vasudeva is very cruel he is demonic but here in his heart also there is compassion there is pity when the first child is when the first child vasudeva brings kamsa feels oh the voice told that only the eighth child will kill me why should i kill this small child this was just a moment thought yes who can read this me me mata ji who is this me janita yes janita you can read puch puch ravi here here you can read what did kamsa say when the first okay yes ma'am there is no need to give me this baby the pro- prophecy the prophecy said it will be the eighth child who w- would kill me yes thank you janita so now comes that <laughs> things there is no need to give me this baby the prophecy prophecy means the voice which we heard no from the heaven so the voice what did it say it would be only the eighth child that would kill me so i think i don't need to kill this baby so vasudeva took the baby home with him again and but he did not trust kamsa so vasudeva was also shocked how did kamsa leave me like that thinking he went back but what happened again sure enough after kamsa listened to all his advices when vasudeva was gone there are people who will advise kamsa so they are advising he decided kamsa listened to all his advices he decided that actually any of the babies could be the one to kill him he had a crooked heart so he thought that providence was also dishonest and the prophecy might not be dependable now he even started to doubt what the voice said it said the eighth child but he thought it may not be the eighth child it may be the first child second child whichever child may kill me so he had a doubt so he's changing his heart now he has a change of heart 
no, no, I should not leave any of the baby. So he went back to Vasudev. Yes, who can read this? Nandita, you can read. Samataji. So he went to Vasudeva and Devaki forcibly took the baby from them and killed it. Then, just to be safe, he also had Vasudeva and Devaki put into prison. Each year, Devaki gave birth to a child and Kamsa killed it. Neither Devaki's tears nor good advice from well-wishing friends could disjust from him from these evil activities. So, when all his advisors told him that he should kill, he went back and he went back to Vasudev Devaki and he took the first child he killed. Not only did he stop with that, he put both of them into prison and each year a child was born and see, here he is killing all the babies one by one. Like this, he was killing up to sixth child he killed. In fact, it usually happened that people who tried to reason with Kamsa became his worshippers. So strong was his demonic charm. So the, whoever came to advise him also could not influence him, but Kamsa influenced him. So they also became opposed to Vasudeva's children. Kamsa also made stronger alliances with other demons and increased his atrocities against the good kings and princes and the brahmanas. So with this, he did not stop. He began more atrocities. He made alliances with all other demon kings and he began to give trouble to all the good kings and princes and the brahmanas. So after Kamsa had killed six of Devaki's babies, Devaki became pregnant again. So six children were killed. Now this is the seventh child. This time she was filled with evulgence, effulgence and gladness and felt that the Supreme Personality of Godhead was within her. So now this is going to be the seventh child. He, see, here we can see the effulgence. She is very bright and she was very happy. And she felt as if God was near her. This was Balarama. See, before Krishna came, who is the elder brother? Balarama. So the sixth, seventh child is Balarama. This was Balarama, who is the expansion of Krishna and who in another form serves Krishna's form of Vishnu as the serpent bed. What is the serpent bed? Anantasesh. Yes, very good, Riyansh. Anantasesh. So, Balarama was previously as Ananda Shays. He will always serve Krishna in whatever form Krishna comes. When Krishna came as Rama, who was Balaram? Lakshman. Lakshman. So, you all know this, no? Always Balaram, he comes to associate with Lord Krishna. So, here, before Krishna comes, Balaram is in the warm of Devaki. He came first in the mood of serving Krishna to purify the warm so that Krishna could come next. So before Krishna comes, Balaram came and he is purifying the warm so that Krishna can come. But Devaki did not give birth to Balarama. So Devaki did not give birth to Balarama. Krishna made an arrangement to transfer Balarama to the warm of Rohini, another wife of Vasudeva, who had been sent to his brother Nanda, the king of the cowherd village of Vrindavan. So here, the seventh child, Balarama, is not born here. What Krishna does, he makes a plan. He is shifting the womb. From Devaki's womb, Balarama is shifted to Rohini's womb. You know who is mother of Balaram? Rohini. Rohini Mataji. So Rohini, but already Rohini is also pregnant. But that womb is shifted here. So there is a change. This is all done by Krishna. So Rohini is also another wife of Vasudev who has been sent to who is in Vrindavan. Balarama was therefore born in Vrindavan and everyone thought Devaki has had a miscarriage. So here she didn't give birth. So they thought that there was a miscarriage. The child was not born. It was dead before it was born. Children, did you understood this? Yes, Mataji. Balarama was not born here. Balarama was shifted to Rohini Mataji's womb. Okay? 
then devaki became pregnant with krishna now it is the eighth child it is clearly explained that this conception was pure and spiritual and not by normal means of conception of a child between man and woman she was radiant and even kamsa noticed so now krishna is going to be born here and so she is very pure and spiritual and she was very effulgent even kamsa could notice that she is looking very bright his fear increased while devaki's joy also increased so devaki is very happy why was devaki happy krishna was with him krishna was with her no so she was very happy but seeing krishna seeing devaki very happy kamsa fear also increased when krishna was born he at first appeared with four arms like vishnu see you can see here krishna's form how many hands he has four four arms so with four arms like vishnu and with fully grown hair silken clothes and crown and jewels see with all this krishna this krishna baby is born with four arms with jewels with crown with fully grown hair and with clothes also with silken clothes so krishna is doing a past time this was so that vasudev and devaki would know without doubt that the supreme personality of god had been born to them they had prayed and performed many austerities in previous lifetimes for this blessing and always they had played to the form vishnu form of the lord now they could see that their prayers had been answered they offered their lord prayers in a worshipful attitude so devaki and vasudev had been praying to lord vishnu so that he may come as a child to them so their prayers were answered now they can see vishnu himself before them as a small child so they were very happy and they offered their prayers very sincerely they offered their prayers then he turned himself into now after from so so we saw no there was four forms there was a crown there were jewels there were silken clothes from that form after they offered prayer krishna changed into a small ordinary newborn child that is one with two arms and not formally dressed or decorated so he took off all his decorations and just like a newborn baby he changed himself as krishna he could let his parents love him as their little child but not for long their parental affection caused them to feel fear for his safety since kamsa had killed so many other babies in the night before kamsa could learn of the child's birth the prison doors mysteriously opened the guards were asleep so they were jafas they were rejoicing the birth of krishna but their joy was not for long because they had fear kamsa had been killing all the children so definitely he will come to kill this baby also so before kamsa could learn that their child is born the prison doors it opened and the gods were asleep is yes, anybody can read this mata ji can i mata ji can i dru mata ji can i yes dru you can read you were not there when i called you to read okay you can read dru yes mata ji vasudeva carried the uh, carried krishna out into the night where the flooding yamuna river gave him safe passage and he took the baby to the village of vrindavan there he he left krishna in the bed of yashoda who is sleep who was sleeping deeply in exhaustion after just giving birth to a baby girl vasudeva took the baby girl back to with him and in the morning he presented kamsa with a girl baby instead of, of the feared son yes thank you thank you dhruv so what happens here when krishna is born the prison doors is automatically opened the god fell asleep and the yamuna was flooding and vasudev took krishna in a basket and he was able to cross the river because yamuna mataji she gave way for vasudev to pass 
So where did he took the baby? Vrindavan. 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 He went to Vrindavan. There he left Krishna in the bed of Yashoda. So Yashoda Mai, she had given birth to a baby girl. So Vasudeva took the baby girl back with him and in the morning he presented Kamsa with the girl baby instead of the feared son. So now Krishna is replaced with a baby girl. Vasudeva kept Krishna near Yashoda Maya and the girl baby was taken by Vasudeva and he brought her back to the prison. So next day morning when Kamsa came, she, he saw the baby girl. Kamsa was so evil. However, that when he tried to kill this baby, as he was about to kill her, she slipped out from Ram's and rose up to the sky where she revealed herself as the goddess Durga. So this baby girl, when he tried to kill, she just slipped and she flew away in the air. But he, who, who was she? She was goddess Durga, Yoga Maya, with 10 arms holding 10 weapons. She scolded Kamsa and to make him leave Devaki alone after this, she told him that the child who would kill him was already born somewhere in the world. So she didn't leave, she didn't leave just like that. She also gave a warning to Kamsa that the child who was, who was born to kill him is already born in the world. Meanwhile, Krishna and Balarama began their lives as children of Nanda and Yashoda in the village of Vrindavan. So this Yogamaya, Lordess Durga, she just gave a warning and she slipped from the hand of Kamsa and went off in the air. So Kamsa was very much disappointed. Meanwhile in Vrindavan, Krishna and Balaram. Balaram had come to Rohini Maya no, previously. So they both of them, they began their lives in the Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda in the village of Vrindavan. There are many stories to tell of their adventures there. Later as youths, they went into the city and Krishna indeed killed Kamsa. There are many stories to tell of their pastimes after that as well. So all glories to Lord Krishna. Happy Janmashtami. Lord Krishna ki. Jai. 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 Hare Krishna. Yes. Did you all follow the story? Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Are you all ready for the questions? Yes, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Yes. Who was the seventh child of Devaki? Balram. Balram. Hari Bol. Yes, Balram. Now, Krishna was which child? Eighth child. Eighth, Eighth. child. Riyansh, I would request you to please hold on for a minute. Let others also answer. I know you know all the answers. Very smart child. Okay. Okay. Now, where did uh, Vasudev take Krishna after he was born? Vrindavan. 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 Whom did, beside whom did she, he laid uh, Krishna? Yashoda. Yashoda Maya. Yashoda Maya. Okay. Who was the father of uh, Krishna? After Vasudeva. 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 Vasudeva was father, but when he went to Vrindavan? Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj. Hari Bol. Disha, I'm not able to hear your voice. You can unmute. Disha, are you able to follow? You're very seriously yeah. listening. Hari Bol. Say a big Hari Bol to Disha. She has been listening very quietly. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Yes. Okay. Now, who killed all the children of Devaki? Kamsa. 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 Okay. Now, first, Mother Earth, where did she go to complain about? Brahma. Brahma. Lord Brahma. Okay. After that, Lord Brahma, along with all the goddesses, where yeah. did they go to complain? Milkoshan. To Lord Vishnu. Vishnu. To Lord Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. Milkoshan. Milkoshan. Okay. Lord Vishnu was lying on the milkoshan. And what is the bed of Lord Vishnu? 
अनंत शेष अनंत शेष हरी बोल यस अनंत शेष यस यू वांट टू शेयर एनी अदर थिंग सो यू ऑल लिसन वेरी नाइसली द स्टोरी यस yes you want to share anything which you remember about the story which yeah. part you like yes sir yes sir hari krishna okay so in the end what did krishna do after uh, when he was born and he became big whom did he kill kamsa kamsa so krishna killed kamsa and now coming friday we are going to celebrate this birthday of krishna 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 okay okay now shall we see a rhyme from krishna yes we we'll see a rhymes yes mataji to sing a song yeah one mummy today is the day for one. song part ba and this is a song jera da jera da mana anita you want to sing a song yes 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 anita you can sing it like sir you can sing hari krishna hari krishna hari sundara na jera da mana jela da ba da ba sing yes yes you can continue you can open your video also ba ba पुंजा <laughs> That's all. You can repeat it. Jera tamaha, jera tamaha, kunja bihari, jeyo gopi jana vamada, jeyo gopi jana valla ba kinwala dali. Yeshoda nanda na raja jana ranjana, Yeshoda nanda na raja jana ranjana. हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा krishna krishna hari hari is everybody can sing together hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 rama hari rama 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 hari hari 
శ్లోక జన్మాష్టమి వాట్ విల్ వి హ్యావ్ Yes, I want kids to open your cameras, please. What will you do? Riyansh, Disha, Dhruv. Yes, what we will plan for Friday. See, we have many activities. I have shared in the group of the coloring. I will share the group. Hare Krishna. I will share the group. The national anthem. National anthem you want to sing. Okay, at the end of the session you can sing. Okay? Yes. Yeah. thank you yes okay so uh, we will have activities for this week i will share in the group krishna photos two three drawings i'll share you can color it are you all interested in coloring yes. i will yes. i will share three or four yes, krishna Mahaji. drawings yes you can uh, select any two and then you can draw and you can share it you can color it and you can share it okay, okay and you can sing a bhajan even you can have any dance i think yashika will dance you can record a video and send you can sing you can recite bhagavad gita shloka you can even tell a story we yes, can also recite Bhag- bhagavad gita shloka yes priyansh i would like re- uh, kids to recite bhajans okay you can recite and you can share the audio video i want everyone to 
do some activity and share with me okay you can share it in whatsapp anuga will do shloka and uh, bhajan yes shloka and bhajan along with, the along with the coloring okay very good mm. very good hari bol so you can share everything in the group also you can share or separately you can put it in the group i don't think you can share you can uh, ping me separately okay so next week we will uh, do the same thing in the class also friday you will all be busy celebrating janmashtami okay so we come to the end of the session is you want to share anything hari krishna i think disha will sing national anthem with that we will end the session yes to the guys ha ah. गाना अधिनायक जय हे भारत भारत्य विदाता पंजाब से बात मरा उच्चर बंगा हिंदी हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चर जल बंगा तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आयुष मांगे गाए तव जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे भारत जय वंदे वंदे यस थैंक यू ऑल ऑल डियर सो यू हैव अलोंग विद दिशा हरी बोल सो लेटेस्ट चैंट हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र एंड एंड द सेशन हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे टू ऑल द किड्स Thank you, Madhuri. Thank, thank, thank you for making her recite this. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you. So let us recite Hare Krishna Maha Mantra once, three times. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Thank you, thank you, dear kids, and also thank you, parents, for making them interactive. Hare Krishna, thank you all. Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. 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 H